Chapter 9 addresses local government, which affects the way we live even more than state government on a day-to-day -day basis. This chapter introduces the functions and organizations of city, cities, counties, and other local governments. The process of forming these governments is described along with what they do. Internal politics are revealed through discussion of representation, at-large and district council elections, and executive power, mayors and managers. Special districts and the challenge of governing urbanized regions with so many different local governments are also discussed, along with taxing and spending and the current budget woes faced by many cities and counties. Let's do a quick overview of California counties and cities. First, counties. California has 58 counties that function both as a local government and as an administrative unit of the state. In its local government component, Counties provide police and fire protection, maintain roads, run jails, protect health and sanitation, and govern unincorporated areas, among other responsibilities. In its duties as an administrative unit of the state, counties oversee elections and operate courts. Counties are run by a board of supervisors, which hires the chief administrator to oversee the day-to-day -day operations of county government. Voters also elect positions such as sheriff, district attorney, and tax assessor. There are 482 cities, and most operate under the state's general law. General law cities typically have five-member city councils who are elected for four-year terms. Council also hires a city manager to supervise daily operations. City of Clovis is an excellent example of a general law city. Most cities have five member councils, although Fresno has seven. Most council members are elected in at-large elections, meaning the entire city votes for the council candidates. That is the case in Clovis. In Fresno, there are district elections, meaning voters in a particular district are able to select their council member. For instance, voters in southwest Fresno elect their council representative, voters in southeast Fresno elect theirs, and so on. The district elections lend themselves to increasing minority representation on councils. Let's talk for a minute about executive power in cities. Most mayors do not have substantial power. Mayor is mostly a ceremonial position where mayors represent the city at events. Council members alternate as mayor. That is the case in Clovis. On the other hand, Fresno has a strong mayor form of government. The mayor is elected directly by the people and holds power similar to those of the president in the national system. The mayor can veto legislation and has significant control over the budget process. Los Angeles, Oakland, San Diego, and San Francisco also have strong mayors. We'll now move to school districts and special districts. School districts are governed by an elected board, which appoints a superintendent to oversee day-to-day -day operations. Special district districts usually provide a single service, ranging from water and waste disposal districts to hospital and cemetery districts. Here's a summary of California local governments. As you can see, special districts far outnumber any other type of government. Local governments use direct democracy more than it is used statewide. Local measures include introducing or raising taxes, borrowing money by issuing bonds, term limits, and controlling growth. We talked about Prop 13 briefly in the last chapter. As you can see, before Prop 13, the biggest source of money for local governments was the, was the property tax. But Prop 13 restricted property taxes, and cities responded by cutting jobs and services, charging for a number of services, increasing sales tax, and going to what is called the fiscalization of land use where they prefer retail businesses to housing or other industry because of the sales tax that is generated. As you can see, 
Local government is a major component of California's economy. Please take a few moments to study this slide and the next one. As you see, counties receive most of their revenue from state and federal aid. That accounts for more than 55% of revenue. Counties spend almost 65% of their money on public protection and public assistance. For cities, their largest source of revenue is charges for services such as sewage treatment, trash collection, building permits, use of recreational facilities. Their major expenditures are public safety and public utilities. That is your video lecture for this chapter. Please use this lecture as well as your study guide to prepare for this week's quiz. Good luck.